how's your night going before going to sleep, I said, you know what? Let me talk about the invisible hand. Economics assumes individuals behave rationally. So they are going to do the best for their self-interest. If there's no regulation from governments or anything like that, the invisible hands basically explains how the markets can just adjust with each other with the supply and the demand. Let me show you an example. So this is the typical uh, graph that you have in economics where the Y is going to be the price and the X is going to be the quantities. Now, this is going to be the supply and this is going to be the demand where they both intercept their own equilibrium. So this is the equilibrium basically where the price and the quantities are the same for the supply and the demand. When you have an equilibrium, basically everyone is happy because if you, if let's say this is a, a only like bananas, right? If all people want three bananas, then they're going to get three bananas. So everyone is happy. But what happens when the price changes, either goes up or down? If the prices, let's say, you know, of the banana goes up, then what's going to happen is that the suppliers are going to deliver six bananas while the people are just going to say, no, nope, I can only do four bananas because we're following the law of demand. Now you have an excessive inventory of bananas. So the suppliers are saying, okay, you know what? We need to go ahead and decrease the price. So basically that is what the invisible hand refers to the rational attitude that suppliers and demanders are going to have when the prices goes up and down. What happens when the price goes down? Now, what happens if the prices goes down? Well, now people are going to demand six bananas, but suppliers are only going to offer four. So now you're going to have a deficit. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial about the invisible hand. It's a beautiful concept. I welcome you to Google it, to see a YouTube uh, you know, video because it's beautiful. Basically, what was happening in real estate, no long ago, where you had a lot of buyers and the sellers basically were limited. So what they did is that they increased the price again to go into an equilibrium.